In Creo Simulate 3.0, users will be able to change the colors of simulation graphics objects through the Options dialog. This is similar to the process users follow when changing system colors within Creo Parametric. Under File, Options, and System Colors, users will now see a new option for changing colors of simulation entities such as Loads, Constraints, Mesh Options, Miscellaneous, and Simulation Results. Within each subsection, a user will be able to expand and change each of the specific colors pertaining to the area of interest. From spring, to shells, to mass, to crack, to auto gem control, so on and so forth. Let's take a look at some of these changes right now. Let's go ahead and mesh this particular object. Once it is successfully meshed, we see the blue color displayed on the screen indicating the solid mesh elements. If I go into File, Options, System Color, and I expand the Auto Gem node, we could see that this color in this case is representing the wedges and the brick elements. I can now go ahead and select on this and maybe change the particular colors in question. As we start changing the colors in the options dialog, we see that the changes are reflected immediately in the model. If these are the particular colors of interest that we want to maintain, we can save these and leverage these in future sessions of Creo Simulate. Much like we do with system colors for Creo Parametric, these are maintained and controlled and will be leveraged in the future. This is a huge enhancement over previous releases, as in the past, users were only provided with default simulate object colors. In many cases they could not be changed or could only be changed through the corresponding definition dialog. This ability now allows users to customize their own environment to their own preference.